are speaking out for the first time about an inmate who died while in custody of the Walker County Sheriff's Department. Good evening to you. I'm Ben Hoover. I'm Sherry Jackson. As we first told you yesterday at five o'clock, a lawsuit has been filed against the sheriff and jail officials in connection with Anthony Mitchell's death. CBS 42's Carly Lang joins us live now. She's been in Jasper all day talking with the community and Carly friends say this is not how they want Anthony Mitchell to be remembered. Ben and Sherry, this video, these lawsuits surrounding the death of Anthony Mitchell, who was an inmate here at the Walker County Sheriff's Office. It's raising some concerns and outrage from friends, as you mentioned, and people here in the community. You can see a growing protest here behind me. It started out earlier today with just one man, and now it's grown to what you see here. People are shouting things like answers and justice for Tony. Today, I did speak to some of Mitchell's friends, they tell me that the man that they say was arrested is not the man that they know and love. Tony was a very good person and he didn't deserve any of this. In light of recent videos and reports on Anthony Mitchell's death, friends like Jordan Wilson are sharing their stories. We ended up having this huge group of Valley and Cordova kids who were like best friends through the end and um, Tony was always in it. When we got married, Tony actually walked our dog down the aisle. So I always think about that because he loved our little piglet so much. Anitra Pearson went to high school with Mitchell. She says she couldn't believe it when she heard what happened. What happened to Tony was inhumane and I think anybody who has watched the video can agree that nobody should be treated that way. Cecily Bush says she hopes his family gets answers. Life throws us a lot of challenges, you know, and I don't want them looking at that and just make the, that that was his life, but it wasn't. Uh, he was a good person overall and I hope he does get justice. And justice is what these protesters are calling for this afternoon. You can see the growing protest here outside of the Walker County Sheriff's Office. We did reach out to the Sheriff's Office for comment on the video and the now two lawsuits filed against them. We first reported yesterday that the family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the sheriff and other personnel. And today, Corrections Officer Karen Kelly filed an uh, First Amendment lawsuit against both the sheriff and personnel here at the jail as well. We have that full lawsuit for you on our website. That's CBS42.com. This, of course, is an ongoing investigation. Be sure to stay tuned to CBS42 News for the latest updates on air and online as they become available. Reporting live in Jasper tonight, Carly Lang, CBS42 News, local coverage you can count on. All right, Carly.